What's up everybody and welcome back to The Real Talk. Today's episode, we're going to talk about the Jesse Smollett situation and that whole thing. So basically, um, Jesse Smollett was a part of a hate crime or what looked to be a hate crime. Fast forwarding through, it started to look as if he created the whole thing, like it was fake. They had a trial for it and eventually all the charges were dropped. Yeah, this story kind of goes all over the place, unfortunately. When I first heard it, actually I first heard about it, I was, I was with Jordan at the library, and then we had saw the article online, and I was like, oh, look at this. But we didn't really pay no attention to it. And none of it ever made sense to me. Right. But like, the whole attack first didn't make sense to me mm-hmm. because of the way it was. Because at the time it happened, we had just been a few days removed from like the polar vortex and stuff like that. So I'm like, who's really mm-hmm. outside in like negative 60 degree weather mm-hmm. or wind chill of that? was mm-hmm. going on. So I had, then I was like just waiting and see what the evidence was going to come about. And then they said that he made it up. And I was like, well, why would he make it up? Like, what right. is the cause for making it up? Mm-hmm. People, were all, they were saying like, um, because he would un- mo- uh, motivate his career or whatever, like ascend his career. And I'm like, that didn't make sense because... If anything, that, it made him look worse. And, right. like, it, I don't think that really helped your career. Like, that's yeah. not going to be like, oh, you were attacked. We're going to give you a million dollars for episode now. Right. We're going to give you an episode now. Yeah, so I didn't think that that really correlated with what they were saying. Yeah. And it was just like the police department expedited the process so quickly. And it's like, there's yeah. so many things yeah. that's happened. Yeah. When I, I remember when I first read about it, I was like, I feel like this hate grind is way too textbook to like, be real. Like, the fact that they yell, this is make America great again country, like, that's just so, that's so weird. Yeah. Why would anybody yell that? Obviously, things like this happen, but it was just, like, so, like, perfectly laid out. Like, the perfect hate crime, you know? Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Like, it was, like, planned to the T. Yeah. Almost. So, like, that's when I first started to think, like, mm, that's kind of weird. Yeah. Um, but I think now it's been so hard to, like, put together an opinion about it because... It's still unclear if it's, even, say it's, so it's still yeah. unclear if, it's, yeah. if it even happened or not. Cause, yeah. Because it's like, like Isaiah said, the CPD has such a track record of, mm-hmm. you know, lying. <laughs> yeah. And, but also, mm-hmm. like his story just doesn't really make Add a lot up. of sense. Right. But yeah. I don't think both sides really make that much, much sense. sense. Mm-hmm. But not, I, I was gonna ask, like, what, what do you think actually happened? I don't know. 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 I don't speak on that because it's I like. Can't. I don't know. Like, yeah, I don't know. I would never want to belittle someone's experience or the right. like, right. 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 like that. Right. 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 Why are you even out by yourself at 2 a.m.? I mean, Maybe he just wants to be normal. He's going to be, yeah, he's got that, that normal thing. But I mean, God, you ain't going to take nobody with you doing your normal activity. It's 2 a.m. You probably thought no one was on the street. I have yeah. read that a lot of celebrities like to go out at night, like in the dark. Yeah, yeah. I've seen them, I've seen like a video of like Carmelo Anthony went to the bodega. <laughs> <laughs> and a room or something like that. And going to get some food so, in New York. So, I mean, yeah. that happens. I think another thing that I've been wondering about is like why... If he, if he paid people to do it, why would they come forward and say, like, oh, that he they paid did to it. do it? Because he knew the guy. The guy that came forward was his, like, personal They were his friend. friend. Yeah. yeah. His friend. And then so they got like, the, like, why would you come And when they got the evidence back with the check, the check said, like, for, like, not for it. Hit, beat me up. But it was, it, was, <laughs> it was paid out to his trainers because they trained him. So what did it say on it? It was, like, the memo was, like, basically just money for the training session. Oh. Uh, but it wasn't really a training session. Well, we don't know if it was well, a training session. We don't know. The evidence points that it was a training session because that's the right. check. But that's like, if it's your friend, would you ever snitch on your friend? Some people do. I wouldn't do. I wouldn't do this. Uh, right. Like this is. That's like, first so off, this just seems like way too drawn out and dramatic for me to even try to attempt to do anything close to. Like, I don't know how much Here's time did y'all. you really have. Y'all hit me up. <laughs> right, like you a check. I'm gonna write you a check. Oh, like, they just got just got paid. And what if it really wasn't real? Like I just don't think it's. I don't think there's any motive for him. They to right. he just finesse this man money. I don't think yeah. there's a motive. Possibly. People always they just keep saying that it was to advance his career, but I don't see how this. How does it right? How does it? Because so technically he about, he was about to get kicked off his show. Oh wait, that's what I was gonna say. Was he gonna get kicked off the show? Empire was already mm-hmm. planning on getting rid of him. They had just right, come on. So, yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. So people were like, oh, he pulled this stunt so that his name would so stay. So that he could be, get. Uh, oh. oh. Well, that could. 
that could. But then wouldn't that still make him look bad? That man name all over the news. Companies don't want But that. I mean, think about it. Celebrities, they kind of take it publicity as publicity, whether it's good or bad. Yeah. They can even like they can take advantage of that too and like write a whole episode about it. Like, yeah, I don't know. You're right. <laughs> they could they could they could profit and them. end up making a lot of money. Yeah, that's sad. Yeah. <laughs> but how do we think this makes like the community look like his community, the black community, the LGBT community? Like, I think it makes all of the marginalized groups that he identifies with look bad especially especially if it really is a hoax like from my perspective hearing people talk about that's really what people believe that he lied Mm -hmm. and it Mm -hmm. make us look bad for people who actually go through it it's kind of like oh you lying just like how he would lie you know right because there was already this perspective that like hate crimes were made up so like now that there's one with some evidence that it was made up it's just like it's an excuse to like erase just, all of those. Yeah. Why? Yeah. yeah. Which yeah. isn't fair. Yeah. And it's not That's not fair because yeah. every, every event, every hate crime and everything that happens is individual. Right. And it's all mm-hmm. circumstantial. So I don't think it's, it's all an isolated it. incident. I don't think it would correlate. I don't think it should correlate to a narrative of hate crimes being falsified or anything like that mm-hmm. because that's just not fair to people that actually go through these things. And that can also be employed by the media or anyone else that believes that hate crimes are fake just to paint this narrative that they are fake and that right. there should be attention drawn to it. Do y'all think it'll make other people and celebrities attempt to do something like this or similar? <laughs> no, I, don't I think they learned their lesson uh, though. Because <laughs> this has been going on for too long. Yeah. Like, I mean, there's well documented history of hate crimes in America against specifically black people or black right. identifying people right. and also against LGBTQ people. So, I mean, people know about the hate crimes. Whether or not he was trying to get a voice to this, if it was a hoax or not, is to be seen or whatever. I mean, all the cases, all the charges were dropped. So, this is not going to play out in the courts anymore. Yeah. Only thing that would happen is if evidence come out forward and someone decided to reopen the case, which really can't happen because everything was dropped. Mm -hmm. And that was another weird thing, that they were going to charge him. 16 felony counts and then they, and just they dropped, dropped them all. It, like, it, it just, it just, just out of nowhere it just That's because the, 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 the CPD didn't have anything against Any him. evidence, probably. There was, no, there was nothing against him that could bring him to trial. And, yeah. so. I think that's been my main like grievance with this is that everybody's been paying so much attention, attention to this case and like calling, I don't know, like minority groups like corrupt and stuff like that when it's like do you know the cpd's track record <laughs> um i forgot the exact number i heard in that class the other day but there's been a large number of like aldermen who have been convicted of felony accounts mm-hmm. and crimes in the past what 40 years alone yeah mm-hmm. and so with that being you know these people you look up to and you try to elect them to be a voice for you but they're very corrupt and they want money and they extort people mm-hmm. and they like just try to buy their votes and buy their way into the community and give private contracts to certain organizations and companies mm-hmm. and that doesn't really help any in chicago and that's the thing because like politicians are making a lot of commentary about this case mm-hmm. but they don't make Commentary oh, about, about the Laquan McDonald's yeah. or that, that's, that's something that like, always comes up too and I always think like they always talk about what happened but not how it happened mm-hmm. or yeah, what caused yeah. the events to happen like what makes it happen right. talk about oh this happened okay we'll tell what you what happened, happened because of yeah. something right things. but what if they are right though like what if even in this in this situation with Jesse Smollett what if they're right what if he did, like, did do this and because unfortunately that it sucks, but like if he really they could did have a whole horrible track record mm-hmm. and be right. Yeah. Like, well, I think what that, are, like, and can I prove it? like we said before, right. like this one case doesn't speak for like um, the oh, hundreds of thousands right. of people that are victims of crimes every single day right. and don't see any justice because people don't believe them. So, yeah, I, I mean, don't think you should erase them. If they yeah. could, they would have to basically. They had to, it was dropped because there was no evidence against Jesse mm-hmm. Smollett to even go to trial. That's the only reason it could be dropped because there was no evidence to prove. And if it. there's no evidence, why did they even bring it in the first place? In the first place. <laughs> That's what I'm kidding. And that was also yeah. something I was thinking about too. Like um, it happened so fast. Like obviously, all this stuff happened in like a month, a month and a half time. So it's like this is where your resources are going to, mm-hmm. so that we can know how fast we you tried to convict him and try to go yeah. to trial and stuff like that. This is right. not a quick they point. honestly just this probably tried to lock him up real fast. That's real probably fast, what they like, really wanted to do. I Unfortunately. Think, I think, if anything, the Chicago Police Department took this opportunity to try and, like, 
gloss over the fact of when we talk about like corruption and stuff like that. Because if they could uh, incriminate a high profile celebrity star mm -hmm. and make it seem as if they're trying to paint Chicago with a bad picture, mm -hmm. they can make it seem like other people are trying to do the same thing mm -hmm. with other crimes in the city and that the media is trying to make it more than it should be. Mm -hmm. And the CPD is probably trying to be like, oh, let's try and use this high profile case while we're in the news and try and make it seem like this is all false. That's and true. that we could look good by rushing this through, mm -hmm. prosecuting him, and having him charged with the highest possible felony convictions. Right. So. I kind of want to touch back on a topic that we were kind of talking about. Um, what is? What do you guys think that this Jesse Smollett situation, the whole thing, means for real people who actually do go through hate crimes and actually do have, you know, these situations happen to them every day? I think it's just going to make it even harder for them to come forward. Yeah. It's already mm -hmm. hard enough for them to come forward. It's already hard enough for them to be believed. Mm -hmm. um, so it's like, well, like the way that this has been blown up, you know, that would just, that would discourage me to come forward. I'd be like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. I know for the most part, like a lot of sexual assault cases don't go reported. And then a lot of them, even at a lesser percentage, even go through with like a trial or some kind of mm -hmm. repercussion or punishment or consequences. And then they always say, why didn't you speak up? And it's like, why well, I don't think why didn't you say anything then? Speaking, Speaking of, what do you think, like, even when it comes to that, like, do you feel that people should be blamed or hated upon because they don't speak up right when it happens? No, no absolutely no. not. Because, like we were saying earlier, at least I was saying, every, every incident is isolated in its own mm -hmm. circumstances. Mm -hmm. So everyone should be treated as a case-by-case -case basis. Mm -hmm. It's a big problem under the mantra of like hate crimes and what goes with it or even assault crimes or whatever. Mm -hmm. But each case should be treated individually and differently because no one is the exact same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So um, going back to now, or now I guess we can think of now how, um, what's going on now. So the charges have been dropped. Mm -hmm. um, and he now is kind of facing backlash mm -hmm. um, from that whole situation with the charges being dropped. What do you, what do you guys think about that? Should the charges have been dropped, in your opinion? Girl, I don't even understand. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know what so I guess I just feel like the situation was just such a serious situation that one, it should have been handled differently, I guess is what I'm saying. They I feel like it just was it. right. It just oh, wasn't yeah, it handled just, right, and I feel like the Chicago the police mm -hmm. department did not do their due diligence. Right, they diligence. didn't. They didn't handle it the right way either. I feel like on both sides, neither neither side handled it the right way. Yeah. And I feel like if it had been handled correctly and how it should have been and more professionally, this could have been a different situation. Yeah, because they made it like a big old press thing. You, know, you, had the, you had the police chief come up there on the podium and have this big old news conference about a falsify, a possible falsified hate crime mm -hmm. against this high profile celebrity. Mm -hmm. So it's like, why is that even necessary? Yeah, I don't you know, know you why have, they're You have no evidence to, to, to do anything. Like, you don't know the whole story because the story was just coming out. So why would you even try and come out here and make this big old spectacle? Yeah. I didn't see like, even half of the media attention when that man opened fire at the... Uh, hospital over in Bronzeville and killed his fiance. Like, yeah. I don't remember even seeing right. half of this information about that. Right. Um, and I think they're still not handling it very well either, like recently with the um, protest that was downtown. Um, it was held by the Fraternal Order, the P Fraternal Order of Police. They have 40 pol police chiefs come forward calling for Ken Fox's re uh, resignation. Ken Fox was the one who exonerated. Um, Jesse of all 16 counts so mm -hmm. even now they're still continuing it and making it so like much bigger right. much bigger because, than it needs to be because this is what we are talking about earlier like the corruption of the police department they have this brotherhood cult type mentality yeah. that they have to protect each other and be there yeah. for each other for the most part which is like, like a gang okay. 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 Everybody unfortunately literally yes, so unfortunately have, yeah so they have that kind of mindset so they have to protect it's each like other that. yeah but now the police come out and they're trying to make it seem like the, you know this hate crime was falsified right. so now it's a direct attack on the police department and now they gotta come out here and try and protect themselves yeah. so that nothing else gets exposed mm -hmm. and, and that's the thing it's not even about the police like like 
The police had nothing to do with, to do with the situation. They jumped into right. Like, like if, it a, if it was a falsified hate crime, okay, then put that as one of the charges against yeah. him and go forward like that. They really made this whole situation bigger than what it focused to be. on. The, way more, they gave themselves way more attention than they. The president of really the United to. States commented on this. Well, I, first off, <laughs> that's a whole nother topic. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and unfortunately, I think it made. It was such a waste of time, but it made a group of people, many groups of people, not only just black community, but also the LGBT community look bad. And the police department look bad. Yeah. Well. It made everybody kind of look bad. Yeah. And that sucks <laughs> that a couple can count for everything. <laughs> right, like, yeah. No, I didn't paint anybody a positive picture. Nope. No. Everybody count her looking bad. Every single party that was involved. Yeah. With this. It just looks so really good I guess where do we go from here? Where do you think he will go from here? That's good. Like, yeah. Like, what do you think? I wonder how his mental is. You know, like <laughs> after going through all of that, especially if it like he the only one that really knows the story. So yeah. say if it really is true, you know, like the whole country don't believe that a hate crime happened and it really did. You know. Right. A lot. I think a lot. For now, his career is not over, but on hold. I think it'll be a long time before he gets any work. Do you think he gonna be back on Empire? Oh um, no. Um, I, don't I mean, cause technically he does have to end it. I know. Uh, he was way out of the last two seasons. I mean, last two seasons, last two episodes. Yeah. Whether not the last few episodes. Whether the next season, whether the next season comes out and he's a part of that one, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think he'll be brought back for like a whole new season. That sucks. So what he gonna do? I mean, uh, I mean the small lead family is to, not poor people. He'd have to clear his name. So I mean, no way. How you can do that? How you can go about doing that? You have to find a way to clear his name. But like his right. passion, though, obviously is acting. Yeah. But with all this going on, like, huh? That's sad, bro. It's a crazy situation. Well, <laughs> I guess that wraps up this. Uh, crazy topic <laughs> um, and yeah so do not forget to subscribe also leave a comment let us know what you what you guys think about the situation and how you feel your opinions your thoughts and share this video as well and we will see you guys in the next one